Yorkshire took complete control of their LV County Championship match in Scarborough, where Leicestershire were blown away in their first innings against Yorkshire's four-pronged Shazad-less seam attack, with Anthony McGrath leading the way. Day two began with Yorkshire looking to extend their first innings. They resumed on 329 for five, with Johnny Bairstow and McGrath looking to add to their partnership of 112. McGrath, who'd started the day on 49, was soon at his 50. After a wonderful 2010 when he scored in excess of 1,200 championship runs, last year was a bit of a struggle, but he looked somewhere near his best in this knock. Bairstow's career is going in the other direction, and he added the nine runs he required to get to his 150. He'd taken 228 balls to get there, in which he'd hit 12 fours and four sixes. He's shown the tendency to bat on when getting to three figures. And he wasn't about to stop there. His first ever first-class ton, made just last season, ended with him hitting a double hundred, and he must have had another one of those in his sights as he continued to enjoy the Leicestershire bowling. His timing and placement were exemplary as one boundary followed another. His partnership with his older statesman went beyond 150, and the aim of Yorkshire was clearly to have to bat only once in this match. That stand had realised 159 in 40 overs when it was ended by Wayne White, who was to have another good day with the ball. Bairstow, just 18 runs shy of his double ton, drove on the up, but found Jacques de Toy instead of the boundary for once. Tim Bresnan was out soon afterwards in rather disappointing circumstances. He could have been run out as he gingerly completed a single, but with overthrows on offer, he set off again, only to be beaten by White's direct hit as he came back for a third. In all, Bresnan probably just about completed four runs, but was out for only one. Such was the temperature on the North Yorkshire coast that Ned Eckersley, behind the stumps, had taken to wearing a woolly hat. McGrath kept himself warm with a six off Claude Henderson. Before lunch, White claimed his fourth wicket of the innings by bowling Adil Rashid, who chose the wrong delivery to leave alone. He was out for four at 407 for eight. McGrath deserved his own hundred. The break possibly upset his rhythm and he nicked Henderson behind on the restart to go for a splendid 90, made in four hours. So there was time for a bit of fun for the last pair and Ryan Sidebottom tried to ruin White's figures with a perfect straight six, for which he deservedly held the pose. White was not to be denied, however, and for the second successive match, he claimed his fifer. Sidebottom top-edging a pull shot to be taken by a running Eckersley. Yorkshire were all out in 133 overs for 447, White finishing with five for 90. So often in his career, Cy Bottom has done early damage with the ball, and this was to be no different. He ended his second over by having Matt Boyce leg before for a duck. And in his third, he also got rid of Detoy without scoring, the beanie wearing Besto claiming the catch behind. Leicestershire have made some pretty indifferent starts with the bat this season, and they soon found themselves on 12 for 3 when Stephen Patterson joined in the fun by finding the edge of Greg Smith's bat. If it was cold for even those born in Yorkshire, imagine what Ramnaresh Sarwan must have felt like when he came back out to bat. At least he felt the warm glow of a couple of very neat drives which threatened to haul his side out of their rather deep hole. The resistance didn't last for long, however. On 11, Sarwan was bang in front to McGrath's second ball on what was one of the best days he's had for some while. He struck again just before tea, Eckersley going in the same manner for four to leave Leicestershire on 43 for five, a long, long way behind. And things got even worse for them after the break. Joshua Cobb with a top score of 29 was brilliantly held by Bairstow standing up. White missed a straight one from Patterson to head back leg before on six. And Robbie Joseph nicked Patterson behind to go for a duck. Now Leicestershire was staring down the barrel on 68 for eight. There was at least some spirited batting from the tail, most notably from Henderson and Nadim Malik. Both will have remembered the odd dark day from last year when their batting collapsed rather terribly. At least here, they took the score beyond 100. But Bresnan then got in on the act to end the ninth wicket partnership on 36, Henderson edging him to slip on 15. 
and rightly it was left to the man of the hour, McGrath, to finish things off as the 36-year-old had Alex Wyatt taken by Phil Jakes in the slips. McGrath had taken 4 for 21 as the visitors were dismissed for only 116. Needless to say, with them being 331 runs behind on first innings, Leicestershire were asked to follow on and to the last ball of the day, Smith was bang in front to Patterson to end a miserable day for him and his team. Leicestershire will now need a miracle to save this match from here. They'll resume on the third day on 3 for 1, still needing 328 runs just to make Yorkshire batter second time. The Tykes appear to be on the up.